Welcome back to another video everyone. So you might be wondering where I am in my Minecraft world as it does look a little bit different. That's because I'm not playing on my normal world. This is a world that I've made with my girlfriend. It's mainly my world as I've put, I'd say, the most effort into it so far. So I just thought I would take a break from the suffering and pain of my other series and just do a little tour of the world that we've made. Maybe even continue it as a video series, but I'm not sure about that because... I don't know if I will be recording everything and you know what people are like with Minecraft if you end up coming back to a video and you've got diamonds they automatically think you've just been creative so I'm not sure about that but this is the house now you might be wondering holy shit this is like nothing I've ever seen before in a, in a Polar Source Extra video normally you know we have the wooden shack and that's about it this is obviously a bit more advanced now I didn't build this my girlfriend did build the whole thing you know I went to bed one night and when I woke up in the morning she was still playing the game. Although it's not an original design, that that must be clear, you know, people will probably recognize the design from a tutorial, uh, but yeah, this is a YouTube design. But still, to her credit, you know, I would not go through this myself. But essentially it's got everything that you would ever need in a house, basically. Uh, again, it's a really cool design. This is an iron farm. Okay, this is very crucial. I actually do need to build one of these in my own world. But essentially what this does right is it spawns iron golems and then it kills them and it all goes into this chest. Which means, if I die, it's to no real consequence unless I had full diamond gear or something. But currently, if I die, it's not really a problem. So this is very useful. This is a, honestly a lifesaver. It already has been a lifesaver because I have died plenty of times already. So I had nothing to do with this or the house. Actually, with my help, it, it was with my help, I can take a bit of credit because the only reason this works is if you have villagers. There's some villagers down there. And you might be wondering where the villagers came from. Well, you can already see the boats, so you already know I've been trafficking villagers. If you go down here, I, I really like the area. I picked this location for that, so I really like it because you've got loads of different biomes around. Over here is a desert, and as you'll see just over here, there is a, a lake that basically connects my house to this village. There's a village just over here. So basically, it was very easy to just take some villagers from the village and drive them back over to the house, which is just over there. I've got a lot of experience trafficking things in this game, whether it be villagers, dolphins, you name it. And I've gone through way further lengths to traffic things in this game, so this was honestly no problem for me. Now, I can also take credit for this. This is, as you can see on the sign, Lewis is mine. And you can also see there is a 50% diamond tax. So that means if you come in here, and you go mining, and you come out with six diamonds, three of them are mine automatically, because I built I built the mine, basically. So it's only right that I earn at least 50%, you know, because I, look at this, look how clean this is, just straight down. So I feel like I am entitled to some diamonds, you know, if, if some are discovered down here. And it also means that I don't actually need to do much mining, because I can technically earn passive income. So I actually don't really know what my next goal is in the game, um, I suppose. I mean, I've already got a few diamonds. I can make some diamond gear, some diamond pickaxes and stuff. But aside from that, I'm not actually sure what my goal is right now. See, I've got seven diamonds. All, all tax diamonds, by the way. I actually haven't discovered any myself yet. So I think it's fair to say that I've put the most effort in so far. Okay, I've been on the dangerous missions. You might think I've not actually done much, but I've, you know, digging this mine, I've been in some dangerous situations down there. The thing is, this is a really cool world that we got because, I don't know, it's just a really nice area. You know, you've got a whole lake a lake that surrounds this jungle biome over there. A village on this side of the lake, which is just convenient, you know, for iron farms and just stuff like that. It's just nice to have a village and it makes things feel a bit more lively, right? So you got a village, the lake, and then the house over here. Just past the village is a desert and there was a sand temple over there that I looted. Didn't really get anything good, but still there's a desert over there. I've not even been over in this direction either. Over here is just more normal biome. There's another village over here. What? I only just discovered that there's a village there. And then if you go over here, there's another village right there. This uh, um, this is what I'm saying. The seed is more blessed than you think. But yeah, no, this is Java. So my current series is on Bedrock. But this is Java. And it's also on Hard Mode. I was the one that changed it to Hard Mode. But yeah, this is on Hard Mode. I have died already a couple times just in the caves and stuff in the mines. Now, I've got to ask a question. Why hasn't this been working today? Sometimes, as you see, the zombie despawn. So it doesn't even work right now. Um, which is a bit... Inconvenient, there's a zombie here. What do you have to do? Wait. Keep it there. Watch this. Genius. There you go, see? You know what? Do you want me to do it? How do I do it? Yeah, how though? 
Make him walk over it? Can't you push him? Why is he not going to you? Oh my god, get in there. Now push him in. There you go. What? Why is this so difficult? There you go. You just took all my shit as well. He's holding my boots. See, this is the iron farm in its full glory. As you can see, it spawns the iron golems. So it is decent. Now, I'm not going to make more iron stuff. You can just give it all me. You can give it me back. Now, I would be lying if I didn't say I had the urge to blow this house up with TNT. I don't know what it is, but I just really do always have that urge to destroy things in this game. I know that's not a good thing, and obviously I'm not gonna do it. It's just something I feel like doing, you know. Back when Minecraft came to the 360 for the first time, I did actually used to do that with my friend. We would join people's worlds. But uh, anyway, this is the basic tour of the world so far. You know, this is what we've got going on. We've got a house, village over, two villages, nice little area with a lake and everything like that, an iron farm. Basically just, you know, getting started really. The food chest is like severely lacking, like there's one piece of chicken in here, what's going on with that? This is an enchantment area when we get to that point. Just as we were finishing up the video, uh, a wandering trader spawned and one of the llamas spawned in the boat because Brooke is trying to get a sheep in a boat, bring a sheep back. And this little fella just spawned in the boat, so... I guess now we have a llama. This poor wandering trader came here to trade and instead he got robbed. Your llamas are now our property, thank you very much. You know what? I'm gonna take the trader. We can't just leave him here stranded without his llamas, you know? I feel a little bit bad about that, so get in. I'll take you back to the village. How about that? This is your new home, buddy. And maybe he'll, he'll actually stay here because I already have robbed three villagers from this village, so technically there should be beds available. There you go. Right, get up there, buddy. Where's he going? I'm just giving you a home. And you want to run away? No, thank you. Shit. Accidentally hit him. But if that makes him run over to the village, brilliant. What? Where are you going? You know what? If you like it down here so much, then I suppose you'll have to stay down here. You didn't see anything. Let's actually check up on the village. I don't know how it can survive because I think I stole the farmer. Oh yeah, there's a farmer up here. I stole the farmer, I stole a librarian, I think, and I also stole a common villager. Oh yeah, there's two farmers, yeah. This is actually a pretty cool village. I like this. Wow, pretty cool. You know, I think it's time I may upgrade and make a diamond pickaxe. I'm gonna use my tax diamonds. One sheep delivery on the way becoming dark as well there you go i suppose now i've got my diamond pickaxe i can mine this and now what i can do is i can start the portal oh it's working but the cows at least how much iron are we racking up nice Why isn't it work? It just means stone. Well, it, it's slow progress, but it's progress. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video, everyone. Thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if this is something that you want me to continue, and I will see you all in my next video.